Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Here's Miss O'Leary in her kitchen again. I'm still here in my kitchen, sitting down. This is my new office or classroom. And you're probably in your kitchen or sitting room as well watching this. So how is everybody? Now, I'm just going to go through your questions and then I'm going to send you a video asking what I want you to do. So, what day is today? Remember to ask your parents that and they have to ask you. What day is today? Today is the middle of the week. What day is it? What day was yesterday? So it was yesterday because yesterday is past tense, is gone. So at what day is today because it's happening right now and what day was yesterday? Yesterday was. And then what day is tomorrow? We're back to is because it ha hasn't happened yet. What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is. And if you need to say all the days of the week in the order to figure that out, do it, okay? And what month is it? We're still in the same month as yesterday. Remember the months. Say them with me, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December is the last month of the year. We're not in December, we're in the first month of the year. So what month is it? And what season? Remember the season, we're in a really cold season. Is it winter? Say the seasons with me. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. We're in the season of winter, aren't we? Because it's very co cold. And there's no leaves on the trees. The leaves have fallen off the deciduous trees. And the animals are kind of sleeping a lot. They're not out as much. And the birds, the poor birds. If you have a bird table, you probably have lots of birds because the ground is really hard, especially when there's frost and snow. So the birds have to get extra food. And we're cold and it rains or and we had snow and ice and I saw some lovely winter remember you did the winter and summer pictures I saw some lovely winter pictures and summer pictures and it really showed the difference between the two seasons now remember I said yesterday it's really important to practice saying your days of the week I just said and months and seasons I just said the months and the seasons so now practice saying the days of the week with me Monday Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. They're the days of the week. And maybe will we try count up to 10? We do 20 tomorrow. Let's count up to 10. We're going to go up and down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go backwards. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so it's important to practice counting forwards and backwards as well every day. Now, yesterday, the question was, what is your favorite color? So did you ask your parents? I'd love to know what your parents, your mom and dad's favorite color is. And then if they asked you, what is your favorite color? Remember, your answer was supposed to be my favorite color is. And then why? My favorite color is blue, maybe because it's the color of the sky. My Miss O'Leary's favorite color is yellow because it reminds her of summer and the sun shining. Maybe my favorite color is red because I love strawberries. And red is the color of strawberries. Maybe there's a reason that you have a favorite color. So that was your question yesterday. So today I'm going to ask you, because I'm going to talk about feelings for maybe a little bit in the next video. Something, tell me what makes you nervous? So when you're nervous, you're a little bit scared or anxious. You go, what makes you nervous? So you, I want you to ask your parents, what makes you nervous? And then they'll ask you, what makes you nervous? See, I have a list of questions here. That's where I'm getting my questions from. What makes you nervous? Okay, so when you're nervous, you feel a bit anxious. 
You feel a little bit scared. You're kind of worried about having to do something maybe or worried about having to see somebody. Maybe scary people make you nervous. Maybe the loud cars when you're on the road beside on this footpath make you nervous. Maybe having to talk in class in front of all the other children makes you nervous. What makes you nervous? You have a picture of my bike here, look it. What makes me nervous is when I'm out on my bike and cars don't slow down or drive too close to me. Sometimes when I'm out on my bike on the road, not in here, but when I'm out on my bike on the road, cars driving too fast past me make me nervous. So that makes me nervous. So what makes you nervous? Okay, that's your question today. It's kind of a feelings question. So think about it. And if you want to draw a picture of what makes you nervous, do that on a sheet of paper and set, put it up and say, your mom can write what makes, your mom maybe could write the sentence, something makes me nervous. So I draw a picture of a bike and say, cars driving too close to me on the road makes me nervous. So maybe your mom could write your sentence of what makes you nervous and you could draw a picture and send it to me. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye.